making bread has been around since the beginning of time. And uh, from unleavened bread to, uh, to our ancestors, you know, they had Indian fry bread. And even like, uh, which I love reading the stories on them, it's like over in Italy and in France and some of the different countries, and maybe even around here in this country, I don't know. But uh, most of the women didn't have ovens in their kitchens, so uh, there was one main oven in the town, and the ladies would make their dough up once a week on a certain day, then they'd go to this one oven and they'd bake their bread for the week, and I think that's really neat. But uh, I find making bread is it's really relaxing for me. And, you know, if you've got time, and that's, that's part of homesteading, too, is to be able to go into your kitchen and make homemade bread for your family. And a lot of the times, I'll try to, if I've got a Saturday open, and I'm going to do a video on that sometime, it'll take about, from that morning till about noon, I'll make up a month's worth of bread. I make up that much dough. And I'll spend that one day doing it, and I'll make like six loaves of bread. I'll put up so many hot rolls in the freezer, and then I'll do a pizza crust out of that one batch. And it takes about 20 pounds of flour, so anyways, I'm going to do a video on that sometime. But uh, this recipe that I'm doing today is a scaled-down version of Lunch Lady Hot Rolls. Because, yes, I was a lunch lady for years, and I worked in a school cafeteria. And I can tell you I enjoyed it. I enjoyed cooking like that for a bunch of people. It didn't bother me a bit. But we made hot rolls back then like twice a week for the students and the faculty. And uh, say, for instance, we fed 600, 700 people, students plus the faculty. Well, back then... They got two rolls a piece at lunch. <coughs> so if you're doing between 600 and 700 people you're feeding, that's a, that's a lot of hot rolls. But uh, we done it, and uh, I enjoyed it. But we'd go in there, and we had big four stand mixers, and uh, we'd make that dough up, and we had big dish pans. And we'd make up four big dish pans of dough. And we'd set them dishpans up on the ovens, and we'd let them rise for about an hour. And they would, they'd just proof up beautifully. And uh, we'd take them down, and it'd take about, I don't know, 30 of us or so, to pinch rolls and get them ready for that day. And uh, sometimes, if we were busy, you'd have to do it by yourself, so it'd take a while. But anyways, I really enjoyed it. But also, the same roll recipe, we would make homemade cinnamon rolls out of and that usually was every Wednesday we made homemade cinnamon rolls for breakfast for the kids and the teachers <coughs> so uh, that was really good um, things have changed you know so we don't you can't cook like that anymore in the cafeteria so that's really sad but anyways I've got a scaled down version and this version, you can make a pan of hot rolls and a pan of cinnamon rolls with it, or you can make all hot rolls if you want to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bake so many today, and I'm going to put some in the freezer. That way I can just grab out how many I want. And what I'll do is I'll just make them into uh, balls, and I'll put them on a sheet pan. I'll put them out in the freezer. I'll let them freeze. I'll bring them up, and I'll throw them in a bag, and then put them back in the freezer, just like you'd buy raw bread dough at the store. But... Uh, I've got my my yeast proofing. I've got uh, one and a half cups of warm water in here, and I had a package of active yeast and a half a teaspoon of sugar. And I mix that up in here, and I let it proof. So it's proofed pretty good. So in this, with my yeast, I'm going to add my melted butter. And it's two tablespoons of melted butter. I've got to go get that real quick. <coughs> so I've got two tablespoons of melted butter. I'm going to put it in here with my yeast mixture. 
I've got one beaten egg. And how much salt? I need a <coughs> half a teaspoon of salt. <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm coughing. There's something in the air. My eyes have been watering. I'm coughing. Okay, I got a half a teaspoon of salt that I'm putting in my yeast mixture. And I'm just going to stir this up a little bit. Y'all see my KitchenAid mixer here? I've had this thing for... I'm going to be safe to say 17 years, and it has been through it, I'm telling you, and it is still going. One of these days it's going to quit on me. Okay, I've got my one and a half cups of warm water. I've got a package of active yeast, a half a teaspoon of sugar, and I let that proof. Then I put in two tablespoons of melted butter, <coughs> one egg beaten, and a half a teaspoon of uh, salt. <coughs> Hope I can make it through this video. Okay. In here I've got five cups of all-purpose flour. And I've got a third cup of sugar. And I'm going to put that sugar in here with my flour. I'll set that aside for just a minute. Now for this, how we would do it there, and I'm going to go ahead and do it that way here. I'm going to put my flour in my mixer bowl, which is five cups and a third cup of sugar. Now my salt is in with my yeast mixture. I have got two tablespoons of shortening. Like I said, this is a scaled down version. And I'm going to put that in here and I'm going to let, I'm going to cut in that shortening with my flour. <clears throat> and I know that doesn't seem like a lot of shortening, but if you put too much shortening, uh, your rolls aren't going to be light. They're going to be like a biscuit. They're going to be real short taste and real, hope you understand what I mean, but uh, so that's why I only put two tablespoons of shortening in here. So I got my flour, sugar, and my shortening. I'm going to cut in my shortening. I think that's good. Now in my yeast mixture, <coughs> I've got an eighth of a cup of milk. I'm going to put that in my yeast mixture. So I think I've got everything in there. So since I've got my shortening cut into my flour, I'm going to pour all my liquid ingredients in here. And I'm just going to let it mix and come together. I don't want to mix it too fast because you can over mix it and you'll have tough rolls. <clears throat> that third cup of sugar that you put in with your flour, <clears throat> it helps cut down some of that yeasty flavor too in the rolls and give it kind of a, a little bit of a sweet, sweet roll taste. <clears throat> I tell you, this uh, this mix this mixer has mixed up so much bread and, and cakes and you name it, and it is kind of getting slow, like it's on its last leg sometimes. But anyways, it's done a good job. Like I said, I've had 17, 18 years. You can tell by the way it looks. But these things are expensive. I'm just going to let the mixture, I'm going to let it knead the dough for me. Now, I've got the recipe that makes hundreds of rolls. So if anybody ever wants that recipe for some reason, just let me know because I've got it. But I'm just going to let this knead 
And I love kneading dough. I love getting it on my board and kneading it, but today I'm not going to do that. Not, not the first process. Just going to let my mixture do it. And we would make, uh, oh, I don't know how many homemade cinnamon rolls. Of course, we made them for breakfast, so you didn't feed 600 kids breakfast. There wasn't that many kids that ate breakfast, so. <clears throat> but we made several, several pans, and they were good. Okay. Okay. Now I don't want to over-knead it. I've got my uh, an old red bow here, and I want to I want to pick it up and show y'all. I'm very proud of this bow. It's old. It's old red bow. And it was given to me by my son-in-law's. Well, it was my son-in-law's grandma's red bow, and uh, they give it to me, and I'm very proud of it. So I'm gonna use it forever. As long as I'm making bread, I'll use it. I've got a bread, a big bread bowl that I've used all my life, but this one just means a lot to me. She passed away a couple of weeks ago, and she fought a hard battle for cancer. And everybody's going to miss Gigi a lot. Okay, I've got my dough in my bowl, and I, I oiled my bowl, and I'm just going to round my dough a little bit. And I'm going to put this in a warm place. I'm going to let it rise for about an hour. And then we'll come back and uh, we're going to pinch rolls. I'll show you how I've done it in the cafeteria. It's time to paint your rolls. See, my dough has risen. I'm going to punch it down. I like punching down rolls. Dough. So I punched it down, and the, the dough is real soft. And I put oil in my pan. This is how we do it at school, in big pans. I'm just going to rub that oil around on my pan. My hands are clean. I wash them good. Just oil your pan good. Oil your hands good. And I'm gonna take this, I'm getting me, I'm gonna pinch me off. Piece of dough like that. And I want y'all watch how I do this. I'm just gonna do like almost like he's gonna make peach crust. I'm gonna do it like that. And I'm gonna bring it over. And these two fingers right here. I'm going to pinch that row off, just like that. I'm going to come back, I'm going to pinch another one, so that one's too little. Make sure you make them about the same size, just like that. If you got got arthritic fingers, it's, made a little bit, it's going to be harder for me than what it used to be. But So i got five across. Let's see how many... It, We'll go down this way. It's just a regular sheet pan. I don't remember the size of it, to tell you the truth. You see how you just paint them off? This dough is real soft, and that's the way you want it. So it was seven this way and five this way. So you're going to get about 30 rolls on this pan. Or, I mean, uh, 35, sorry. I'm just going to keep pinching. And you see? It'll go pretty fast. My grandma done it this way, but I tell you, my grandma, my hen, she worked in the school cafeteria for a little while, too. So, that's probably where she got it from, is pinching them rows. And you just keep a pinching. 
I'm just gonna I'm gonna go ahead and cook all this. I wasn't going to, but I'm, I think I will. I hope this works out. May not. May have too big of a pan. But if your dough is too stiff, and sometimes even at school, <coughs> for some reason, our dough might end up pretty stiff. And you talk about hard to pinch out. Oh, it would just kill your fingers trying to pinch them. I think I'm going to be short one row through here. I'm going to repinch this one. That way I'll have enough on this one. So anyways, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got 30 rows on here. <clears throat> I thought I was going to be able to get 35, but I'm not. Now I'm going to let these rise for 30 minutes. And then we come back. I'll preheat my oven to uh, 400, and then we'll put them in the oven. I'm going to put them in my oven and where it's warm and there's no drafts. I'm going to let them rise one more time. Okay, here they are, guys. Lunch Lady Hot Rolls. They, uh, after I pinched them out, I let them rise. I didn't. I didn't have enough time, so they did, they didn't rise for the 30 minutes that I wanted them to. They rose for about 20, but uh, they look good. I've got some melted butter right here, and I'm just going to slather them with this butter while they're still hot. Now, back when I was working cafeteria, we were allowed to do this, so it just made the rolls so much better. Oh, they smell so good. But anyways, that's all there is to it. They're beautiful little rolls. They're not hard to make. Didn't take them long to rise either time. They rose really pretty. So there you go. And uh, Miss Avery wants one, I think. <laughs> but anyways, let's see. Let me see if I can get up here where y'all can see me. I don't know. Here, come here. Anyways, Miss Avery loves hot rolls too, but uh, anyways, they're still hot. You can't eat it. It's hot, so you have to cool it down. But I just want to say thanks for watching this video, and uh, I can tell you, I want to give a shout out to all those lunch ladies, those hard working lunch ladies and lunch men. Look how pretty that is. Because they work so hard. And if you didn't love it, you couldn't do it. So, let's be nice to our lunch ladies <laughs> and lunch men. But thank y'all for coming by. If y'all like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it, and uh, there'll be more. So, y'all come back and see me. God bless.